What's up, guys? So, Sully is directed by Clint Eastwood, and it stars Tom Hanks, and it is a story of the miracle on the Hudson, you know, the true story that happened in 2009 when Captain Sullenberg was able to land a plane that was crashing, and, uh, you know, the, the birds, they took out the both engines, and he, you know, was able to land the, the, the plane in the Hudson River, and uh, all people survived. So uh, that was that was a big thing back then, and now here we go. We have a film about it, which is directed by Clint Eastwood. So you go into it expecting at least a good film. You know, I mean, sometimes Clint Eastwood has hits and misses as a director. You know, American Sniper was good. Gran Torino was good. Million Dollar Baby was good. But you know, he does have some of his uh, some of his misses at points. Uh, films that might be too long. Or just feel like they're dragging on a bit. But this film, I think, is one of his shortest films. It's like an hour and 38 minutes with the credits. Without, it's like an hour and 30 minutes. And I gotta tell you, for me personally, this is one of the best films that I've seen this year. Uh, I ended up loving Sully, and I didn't want to take my eyes off the film uh, with the short and sweet runtime that it did have. Uh, Tom Hanks is fantastic in this movie, and I hope he gets nominated for Best Lead Actor at the Oscars. I know they screwed him over with Captain Phillips, but let's hope that this same situation doesn't happen here. And uh, also Aaron Eckhart, who is the supporting actor in the film, he plays uh, the co-pilot. Uh, I think he was fantastic as well, and if he got a nomination, I would be very happy about that uh, as well, because he was, he was great in the movie too, and all the performances in the film uh, are great. I think Clint Eastwood did a really good job getting these actors to, to give really remarkable performances. And I think Clint Eastwood did a fine job directing this movie as well. It's told in a different kind of style, storytelling style. The film is structured differently uh, than maybe some of uh, Clint Eastwood's other, you know, films. Uh, you know, you start the film where we're already into the action and this crash has already happened and we're figuring out maybe if, you know, he could have landed somewhere else or what was the circumstances leading up the decision to land in the Hudson. You know what I mean? And then, you know, the film kind of cuts back to the actual event and then cuts back into the present, back into the back into the, the past. And it, it doesn't happen too much, you know, it doesn't cut back, forth, back, forth. It doesn't do it uh, too much to take you out of the film. But for me personally, I think it did it just enough. So, you know, we're already really invested into the circumstance before actually witnessing it. You know what I mean? It was just a very different kind of storytelling. Uh, the only gripe I have with this movie, this thing I really didn't enjoy uh, about the film, uh, and I, I think they could have handled it a little better, is they did introduce a small kind of side plot, if you want to call it a side plot, or just a little side story or a side piece of information involving Sully and his wife and uh, something involving their house. And uh, I, I felt as though, oh, they touched on this, so, you know, I, I'm thinking that maybe they'll they'll give it a bit of a, you know, a, a conclusion to that sort of little hint of a story that they gave. I don't want to give any spoilers, but it has to do something with their house. And they really don't touch on it ever again. They mention it, and then they never really touch on it again. And I feel like that's the only kind of story issue they had with the film. I feel like if they didn't want to go back to it, you know, don't even bring it up. Even if you feel like it is going to give you, you know, give your film a little bit more emotional depth, uh, you know, there was a whole bunch already, and they didn't really need to add more onto the fire. Uh, so, uh, guys, uh, overall, Sully, it is, like I said, one of the best films of the year, one of the best acted films of the year, and I will go as far as to say one of the best directed films of the year. I'm going to give Sully four and a half out of five stars. Guys, comment your thoughts in the comment section. Do you plan on seeing Sully? Also, you can subscribe to this channel uh, for reviews coming out in the future. you got The Blair Witch, the sequel, uh, the true sequel to the 1999 film, The Blair Witch Project. Uh, that's, that's exciting. We'll see how that one turns out. Uh, you know, you've, you've got, uh, Blu-ray unboxings coming out on Tuesday, Captain America Civil War of the 3D Blu-ray that, The Conjuring 2. Uh, so you can expect those Blu-ray unboxings with the digital copy codes I'll be giving away in those videos as well. Uh, guys, uh, that's about it. You can follow me on Facebook and on Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video. And you could also follow me on Snapchat at RyanKing72 and on Instagram at KingArises131. Guys, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching my review for Sully. Over and out. Is anyone still here?